Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let's start the lecture 30. And we will continue our discussion on kinetics of corrosion. And we have been discussing on uh, current density. And we saw the uh, concept of I 0 also, which is called exchange current density, which appears when for a particular redox reaction, for this particular redox reaction, when it reaches equilibrium. So, that means, then this is a kind of situation which is reversible as well as this is non corroding. Why it is non corroding? Because when a metal is dipped in a in an aqueous medium, the metal ion comes out from the metal surface as well as the reverse reaction which is the metal ion gets reduced to metal, these two processes happen at the same rate. And that is the condition when we have the exchange current density. The metal ion formation which is m goes to m n plus plus n e, this is corrosion or we can take it as anodic reaction or oxidation reaction. And then this backward reaction which is reduction or cathodic reaction or deposition reaction, both this process happens happen at a very same rate and the rate is termed in terms of I which is the exchange current which is basically the current density. Since we have seen that I A divided by N F is nothing but the rate of metal dissolve in gram power unit area and power unit time, where A is nothing but atomic weight of that particular metal, N is the number of electrons that participate for this reduction reaction or oxidation reaction, F is 1 Faraday. So, this particular term we call it as I C and this one as I A. I A is nothing but the corrosion current density. And in order to indicate the direction of flow of these two currents, we have put a negative sign in front of I C. This negative sign does not indicate that the value of current is current density is negative, it indicates that it flows opposite to the anodic current or the corrosion current density. Now, when they reach equilibrium, we come across I 0, which is the exchange current density and that is basically the reversible condition and non corroding situation, because whatever metal ion forms that metal ion goes and deposit on the, on the metal surface. Now, once we know this I 0, we need to look at little bit carefully on this I 0, because this I 0 is a very, very strong and fundamental kinetic parameters.
and this parameter would have a huge importance on the corrosion of a particular metal in a particular medium. And that we will see little later when we start discussing on uh, mixed potential theory. Now, if we see this I 0, this I 0 we have said that this is specific to a particular redox reaction. It is not for the complete cell reaction, this is for a half cell reaction I would say. For example, if we take this consideration like zinc plus HCl equal to zinc chloride plus H 2 for this reaction it can be broken into two half cells. One is zinc minus 2 E equal to zinc plus plus and 2 H plus plus 2 E equal to H 2. This is the gas that forms on the zinc surface. So, it is experimentally we have seen that when zinc is dipped in HCl, let us say that HCl is pure HCl and it does not contain any oxygen. So, that means it is a deaerated solution that time we have these two half cell reactions. So, for each half cell reaction we will have corresponding I 0 and in this case how do I uh, how do I denote this? It should be denoted like this. This is I 0, this is also I 0 for H plus H 2. So, for the reduction reaction we are considering this is the this is the notation we would use and now question is this I 0 indicate some equilibrium reaction of that particular metal metal ion disposition or dissolution or hydrogen ion formation or hydro hydrogen gas formation. Now, those reactions happen on a particular surface and in order to indicate that this is taking place on that on a particular surface, we have to also indicate on which surface this is taking place. So, in the bracket we have to mention zinc because on the zinc surface only that zinc dissolution takes place as well as hydrogen evolution also takes place on the zinc surface. So, zinc. So, now exchange current density I 0 on a metal surface and then M. So, this is the notation and now this particular redox reaction which is half cell reaction. See for example, this is for a half cell, this is for a half cell and they are combination they are may con constituting one complete full cell uh, full cell reaction. Now, this particular reaction might change it could be metal dissolution or it could be any other cathodic or anodic reactions that are taking place on this metal surface. For example, in this zinc case zinc dissolution is taking place on zinc sur from the zinc surface and that is what we are considering I 0 for zinc dissolution on zinc as well as hydrogen evolution is also taking on taking place on zinc surface that is what we are considering hydrogen evolution exchange current density on zinc surface also. Now, when we consider this another important aspect is since we are considering the material aspect. So, of course, this exchange current density would depend on materials. Similarly, it would also depend on the surface condition. So, these are two important issues we would like to consider. So, one is metal surface and of course, a kind of metal. So, let us put it in two ways one is metal which is type depending on zinc, platinum or palladium or gold this I 0 would change for a particular reaction. Second is metal surface. So, the metal surface condition would also change the I 0 for a particular reaction. So, this is surface condition I would say surface morphology morphology. So, let us look at this two situations one case is metal, sur metal surface depending on the type of metal. Let us say we consider this reaction this hydrogen evolution reaction state, state this we call it H E 
or hydrogen evolution reaction. Now, depending on this reaction, we can constitute a cell which is called standard hydrogen electrode. which we in short we call it as S H E. And when we talk about standard electrode, standard hydrogen electrode, we need to also see the how it how what is the importance of this standard hydrogen electrode as well as its constitution. So, it looks like this schematically uh, you have a acid solution where can make it as H 2 SO 4, where H plus ion concentration is maintained at 1 molar, 1 mole. Now, this is a glass, simple a glass electrode, where this is a metal wire, which is connecting a platinum plate, which is dipped in acid medium, and through this route, we send hydrogen gas and that pressure is maintained as one atmosphere. And when we do that, that time we get potential would be E 0 plus R T 2 F L N ox red which is E 0 and if we consider 25 degree Celsius and one atmosphere pressure. So, then this quantity would become 0 0.0591 divided by 2 and that time this quantity this is be in terms of log instead of ln and then ox is nothing but H plus ion concentration square and P H 2. The reaction is H 2. Now, this is maintained at one atmosphere. So, it will become this is 0 minus 0 0.0591 pH. So, these two they will get cancelled. So, this is the equation. So, finally, we are getting E equal to minus like this and I would like to put this 0 value. Now, when this is maintained at 1 mole, 1 molar solution. So, then this goes to 0. So, E equal to 0 volt. So, now once we maintain this E 0. So, if it is connected to let us say another cell with a salt bridge, this is the salt bridge and if we have a zinc rod here, see if we connect like this, this is zinc sulphate, we would see some voltage here and this voltage is the difference between the electrode voltage between this one and this two. So, here we have electrode voltage which is E 2. Now, if we maintain this situation 1 molar as well as 1 atmosphere hydrogen pressure, then E 2 would be always 0 and that is what the E 1 is nothing but E 1 minus E 2 which is the difference between these two electrodes is equal to E 1. So, now this becomes my unknown electrode 
potential is not it. So, that is the use of the standard hydrogen electrode and why we are calling standard because we are maintaining one atmosphere pressure and 25 degrees Celsius and the activity or the concentration of hydrogen ion is also maintained at 1. So, now in order to maintain, so we have to make sure that this particular cell, this particular cell stays at 0 volt all the time. That means, that standard reduction potential for this reaction in this particular hydrogen electrode is to be maintained at 0 volt. In order to do that, we have to maintain those concentration as well as pressure. Now, if we and this is taken as platinum. Now, if we take some metal and why we take platinum? Because the on platinum surface it is around 10 to the power minus 1 to 10 to the power rather 10 to the minus 2 to minus 3 ampere per centimeter square, which is considered to be very, very high current density. Now, what is why we should choose rather we should choose some particular metal where this hydrogen reduction exchange current density should be very, very high. Now, what do you mean by very, very high and what is the advantage of very, very high, high value of I 0 for this particular hydrogen reduction reaction or hydrogen reaction which is the half cell reaction. Now, when we have this then if we see the rate part let us say this is the time and this is the rate once a metal is introduced in a solution. So, this metal ion would form. So, or other way around if we have the solution maintained at with the metal ion concentration m maintained with some metal ion presence there. So, then there could be reduction reaction as well as oxidation reaction. So, reduction reaction is nothing but m n plus plus n e equal to m or oxidation reaction m minus n e equal to m n plus. So, these two reaction would happen. Now, let us say initially the reduction reaction would be very high because we have already the presence of m n plus depending on its reduction potential m n plus would try to reduce and then form m. And as this reaction is starting this reaction would also start, but they will be sluggish in the beginning, but as the time passes on they will pick up the rate will pick up. So, and the forward reaction which is this reaction the rate would reduce. So, m n plus plus n e m this rate initially would be very high because already there are m n plus ions presence and then initially this particular reverse reaction which is m going to m n plus would be less because uh, initially if I assume that the first the m n plus would ion, ion would get reduced first and then metal would release electron and then form metal ion. So, this is rate 1 and this is rate 2. So, rate 1 is nothing but I A sorry I C because this is the cathodic reaction and rate 2 is I A in terms of current density if we like would like to express them. So, the I C the first rate is this one and then second rate this is rate 2 this is rate 1. Now, at some time after some time they will reach equal and then they maintain if we do not disturb the equilibrium because they would reach equilibrium. So, this is the condition which is basically the equilibrium rate and or I 0 this is I C this is I A. And now interestingly you see this I 0 is arriving at this time, this is the time let us say T 0. And this of course, happens on a metal surface that is for same metal surface. So, this is for this particular 
redox reaction. So, similarly, if we can consider this hydrogen reaction, here also this forward reaction and backward reaction they will reach equilibrium after some time on a particular metal surface, let us say metal 1. Now, this on metal 2, this is I 0 on metal 1, I 0 on metal 2 and when we talk consider about I 0 metal 2, if I 0 metal 1 is less than I 0 metal 2, it means that equilibrium on metal 2 for this reduction reaction or that this particular half cell reaction would achieve would arrive at a much faster time. So, means it will arrive here. So, that means this is my new I 0. You see the I 0 this is on metal 1, this is metal 2. So, that means I 0 in case of metal 2 arrives at a much faster time. This is let us say T 1. Now, what it indicates? It indicates that that the equilibrium achieves or is arrived at much quickly in case of higher exchange current density. So, higher exchange current density indicates early Now, early equilibrium also indicates this particular early equilibrium also indicates that let us say somehow on this metal 2 surface we disturb the equilibrium because of some situation. And since it has got a higher I 0 like the situation what we have seen higher I 0. So, the equilibrium will be re established much quickly. Now, interestingly when equilibrium re establishes quickly it indicates if is disturbed so higher exchange current density it indicates early equilibrium and early equilibrium indicates that if the equilibrium is disturbed by some means it will reestablish quickly what is the importance of that part now this particular cell is basically a reference cell which is the hydrogen reduction hydrogen standard hydrogen electrode and in case of standard hydrogen electrode we have to maintain this voltage which should be known beforehand otherwise we cannot know the potential of the unknown electrode so in order to know that in order to maintain this particular potential all the time similar potential and known potential we have to also see that that potential is stable and in order to make it stable we have to also see that the equilibrium is reached quickly because this potential is actually condition of indicating a condition of equilibrium. This also indicates a condition of equilibrium. So, one and that means indirectly it also indicates that it has to have a non corroding reversible condition and when it is a non corroding reversible condition that means it is also related to I 0. So, higher I 0 means the condition equilibrium condition of equilibrium is established and if there is a disturbance then higher I 0 also indicates that condition of equilibrium will be re-established quickly. So, all the time 
we can maintain this standard reduction or standard potential or standard reduction potential to be the to be at the known potential. So, it will help us in determining the reduction potential or the electrode potential of some unknown cell. And there could be possibilities that that equilibrium is disturbed some by some means during the experimentation, during measurement of this uh, unknown electrode potential measurement. And since platinum has got a very, very high reduction exchange current density of hydrogen reaction, it will re establish the equilibrium and so we are will be ok with this reference electrode. Now, if I try to see uh, platinum as well as zinc. Now, in that case on zinc for this particular reaction I 0 is of the order of 10 to the power minus 11 to 10 to the power minus 13 ampere per centimeter square. And here it is as we have mentioned is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 to 10 to the power minus 3. And also if I try to see uh, the values of I 0 on top of let us say uh, iron, it is of the order of 10 to the power mis minus 6 ampere per centimeter square I 0 of hydrogen reaction on nickel is of the order of 10 to the power minus 7 ampere per centimeter square. So, these are the values that means on platinum surface hydrogen reaction would achieve equilibrium quickly compared to zinc surface it will take much longer time. And when it takes much longer time that means, if we make some standard reduction standard uh, cell with by using zinc it will not be a good practice because it will take long long time to re establish to establish equilibrium and then if somehow equilibrium is this is disturbed disturbed it will also take long time to re establish that equilibrium. So, that is what the platinum is very much preferred electrode for uh, hydrogen cell hydrogen uh, standard electrode. Now, instead sometimes we use platinized platinum. And in case of platinized platinum, so I 0 for this hydrogen reaction is much higher than I 0 on platinum. See the when it is platinized on platinum, platinum is plated. So, when platinum is plated, it actually forms a very rough surface and it means that if we have a particular area of platinum and if it is platinized platinum, so then the actual area increases. If we see this one from cross section, so it would be look like this. So, this is the cross section from the side if you look at. So, actual area increases. So, here actual area increases which leads to much higher hydrogen reaction or I 0 increases. It suggests that if we use platinized platina in place of platinum uh, standard hydrogen electrode would be much better compared to if we use platinum, because in case of platinum is platinum I 0 is higher. So, the equilibrium would be much stable equilibrium or if we disturb this it will come back to the equilibrium quickly. So, that helps us to maintain the standard potential of that hydrogen electrode, so that we can measure the another potential of an electrode with certainty or surety. So, this is about the effect of different electrodes, different metals as well as the surface conditions. So, now there are other factors on which this 
exchange current density depends it depends on as we have said metals type morphology of the surface then we have temperature environment why environment because sometimes we have a situation like in one place we have higher salt content salt content or in other place we have less salt content then for example in seashore area salt content is very high and if we go to uh, himalayan belt the salt content would definitely be less so in those two cases even if you use the same temperature and pressure uh, and the same metal and solution we would have a difference in uh, exchange current density of a particular reaction and then we have uh, uh, solution concentration this would definitely change the exchange current density also so these are the some of the factors on which density so we'll talk about exchange current density more in our next lecture so let's stop here thank you